Hey guys, so this video is going to be the best of beauty 2014 video and I'm going to try to kind of rush with this video because long story short my editor is messing up and I paid the monthly fee or whatever and it's not updating my time that I have on it. So I'm going to be timing myself so I only have like seven minutes to this video can only has to be under seven minutes or something like that which hopefully won't be a problem also my hair is different i did twist out on my hair and normally i don't like doing twist outs or anything because i have to keep retwisting every night but lately i've been okay with it and i kind of like because normally my hair looks really short and shrinked and just shrunken but i like this because it actually like shows the length that i have with my hair also I have been transitioning to now, okay, a big chopped in March, but I transitioned in January 2013, 13. So now I've been transitioning for two years. So this marks my two year mark with my hair. But um, let's get right into it for a foundation. I have the Maybelline Dream Fresh, um, it's BB cream. I don't use normal foundation because it's too heavy on my skin. I have pretty good skin. I don't break out that often or anything, but um, so I use BB cream and this is the Maybelline one and it is in the color Deep Sheer Tint. And then let's go into concealer. This is the MAC Select Cover Up. Um, it's in the color NC45. I don't use normal concealer like to cover up spots or anything um, because I don't break out that often. But I do use this to highlight and yeah I use it to highlight so I really like this. Um, for primers. I have um, Maybelline new Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. I don't use um, a fancy primer or anything just because I don't normally do full faces because that's a lot to do on a daily basis. So I don't find myself reaching for a primer all the time but when I do um, I figured this would be enough for me which it is so when I do use a primer this is the one I go to. Um, let's go into blush. For blush, I have the MAC Ambering Rose. I use this seriously all year and I this was one of the first makeup things that I bought. Um, the first makeup item I ever bought. Okay, that'll be another. I'll put the, I maybe I'll maybe put that in the description box because that's a long story too. But yeah, this is Ambering Rose and I love this blush and it's a really good fall color too. I also want to buy some more blushes soon. For eyeliner. I have Kat Von D ink liner and it is the felt tip one. I don't like liquid eyeliners that are the brush tip because I find it's too, it's not, it's not smooth enough. It's not easy to glide on, I guess. And I, I don't know, this is easier for me to use. And it's really black too. And I just bought a new one of these because I use the other one all the way up. But Kat Von D felt tip ink liner. It's my fave for eyeshadow. I couldn't just pick one. So the first one is Stila um, Eyeshadow in Kitten and it's just pretty champagne-y um, shimmer color. And I use this every day in the tear duct area and then sometimes under my, um, on my brow bone. So that's just a really pretty highlighting color for the tear duct area. And then also I have the um, MAC in Brown Script I believe. Yeah, in Brown Script. And it is a pretty like red brownish color and I just use this in my crease, I kid you not, every day. So that's that. Let's go into the palette. This is the Smashbox Full Exposure Palette. I'm pretty sure you saw this in one of my favorite videos I think. But um, yeah, I really like this palette because there are um, a row of shimmer colors and then a row of matte colors. And I mostly go to, I'm trying to like not blind you guys, and I mostly um, use the matte colors because I don't really like sheer colors on my, or shimmer colors on my eyelashes in the tear duct area. But I really like that palette. And it was a, like, it was hard to choose between the Anastasia Tamana, Tamane, Tam, Ta, Ta something. And because I, I really reach for that palette lately too. But that's my second runner up, the Anastasia Beverly Hills Tamana palette. I think, I don't know. Um, but for mascara, I have the Calvin Klein One Mascara. I actually didn't buy this. Ulta gave it to me for my birthday. So, but this is my favorite mascara this year. 
and I use this every day mostly unless I use another sample mascara or something but I'm happy that this was a full size one because it would have been up by now if it wasn't and then um, I have for lip gloss the Stila stay all day vinyl lip gloss in the color nude it's just a pretty pinky nude color um, I don't use I use when I first bought it I used it a lot and then I lost it and then I found it again so I started using it again but I really like this color um I wish it did go on a little bit smoother because when you you have to blend it out a lot like you have to rub your lips together a lot when you put it on because it doesn't just glide on smoothly I guess but it's a really pretty color so I reach for this more than anything else and last but not least I have the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in Chocolate and I use this for my brows every day. I really do. And I used to use the Anastasia um, Brow Wiz in Chocolate but it always broke on me and I don't know why because I wasn't rough or anything. I didn't like spin it all the way up. Like I was pretty good on it and I bought it twice just to make sure I wasn't like it wasn't me and it I don't know. I just can't use it. So I think what I'm going to do is buy um another dip brow in a lighter color to use on the inner part of my eyebrow so it goes from light to dark instead of all just one color but I really do love this this is my favorite thing to use for my brows and I believe that's it uh thank you guys for watching my be best of beauty tooth that's hard to say best of beauty 2014 so yeah welcome to 2015 guys uh see you in the next video bye guys